Uh, hi, I'm Ted Peterson. I'm the lead designer on the new RPG that we've announced called Wayward Realms. Uh, I'm also the uh, creative officer at uh, Once Lost Games, a company that we started with a bunch of role-playing veterans, um, Julian LeFay and VJ Lotchman and myself. Uh, and uh, we are going to look over some concept art. So the, the steps in, in putting together uh, a any game, and especially a game that has uh, so many parts as a, a game like we're creating, is to begin by uh, getting some concept art and talking about what the what the different creatures are and races are and what the images of, of uh, what the world is going to look like. And uh, we've been concentrating on a um, location that you encounter very early in the game, and it's very important for uh, for the main story. Uh, and uh, it really has two names. It's called uh, uh, the Great Library or the Library of Logos. Uh, and so I think that this first image is something that we've uh, already uh, released, which is uh, kind of a cross section of, of uh, the library. And it's, none of this is A to scale uh, or B, you know, completely represents it. But the idea is that uh, this is in. Uh, it closed in a huge mountain, and the and the library is actually something that uh, one of the main antagonists of the game, uh, we call the Inquisition, has been trying to find for a long period of time, and you come across it. Uh, and so, a whole lot of the of the uh, beginning of the game is definitely exploring its mysteries. Um, so it is uh, a repository of ancient knowledge, uh, and ancient knowledge, uh, artifacts, creatures. Sort of everything that uh, has been hidden away from uh, from the world for millennia, and so you are, you know, delving into it and and, uh, and discovering its secrets. Um, so the concept was that you know again it's it's just, it's a dungeon, you know, it's a classic starter dungeon, but it really has a purpose in the narrative of the game. So uh, this is more of a close up of the interior of the of the library. This is one of the the lore masters. So there's a whole society of uh, these beings that we that are called lore masters. And that's really kind of uh, an umbrella term for all of the people who live within the library and uh, are you know, tasked with protecting it and protecting its tre the treasures within. Um, so everybody ha sort of has that as an overall goal, but there are lots of factions uh, within that. And there are lots of uh, non-human uh, lore masters and uh, people of different factions who have different strategies on, on what they need to do to protect or what the most uh, important priority are. Uh, so this, again, it kind of has a glimpse into to one of the lore masters uh, who, uh, who's down in there and a vision of what one section of the library uh, could look like. Just because it's called a library, don't think that it is, you know, nothing but walls and walls of books. Uh, you know, the, it's a library in the classic sense of, of it's a, you know, a keeper of of uh, ancient wisdom and, and relics and, and whatnot. So uh, there will be places that look like this that have a library-like feel to it, but uh, you know that's that's not necessarily everything that, you, that you're going to be seeing through this. It's gonna be a huge variety. And as you saw from the first image, it's also absolutely enormous. Uh, so uh, part, of, part of the thing is, you know, we're gonna have the classic hack and slash, uh, you know, sword and sorcery stuff going on. But there's a whole lot of politics that you're going to have to, uh, you know, get involved in and uh, figure out which which faction you want to uh, want to help out and uh, learning all about the non-player characters who are within it. So it's uh, it's a dungeon, but don't think of it as being a place where you just go from point A to point uh, Z and you know fight your way through it. There's there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, as you can see, the lore masters have some secrets of their own. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail about uh, what kind of race this uh, this particular lore master uh, is, but uh, pretty easy to tell that this is not a not a, a typical librarian. Uh, this next one is is a, a a bit of concept art that we'd released before, um, but I really love it. Uh, it's uh, a, you know a couple more of the lore masters, and they're going over obviously a gigantic scroll and. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest that when uh, you know the concept artist came up with this, uh, I was going, "Oh, we're the creators of the Elder Scrolls, and here's an image of a gigantic scroll." And we're like, "Well, you know, that's that's still a part of lore." So 
Uh, I, I love the, the scale of it and the, the lighting of it. Uh, and when he first created it, he, um, the, the concept artist Alexei who uh, created it um, had just kind of filled the, the scroll with nonsense. And I said, well, you know, if we're gonna release this, then uh, let, I don't want it to be nonsense. So uh, this isn't necessarily the only language that uh, that's going to be uh, in the game, but part of part of this is that there there is there is an actual translation to uh, what's uh, what's on there, and uh, I, I think it's probably only a matter of time before the code is cracked. But uh, that won't be the only code in the game. Uh, our next two images are uh, two specific NPCs that we've been uh, working on. Uh, they they again. They're both lore masters, but they represent different factions and they have very different personalities. Uh, the first one uh, who, with the book and the in the red cloak, uh, his name was Soter. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail, although you can kind of uh, maybe piece together based on the mood of the, the piece, uh, what kind of a character he is. Um, but he's going to be an important NPC uh, for you to He's either going to be your antagonist or, or someone who's going to be sending you off on, on quests uh, and, or probably a little bit of both. Um, so that's, uh, that's what that, who that character is all about. Uh, and the next character is, again, another one of uh, Lower Masters. This is actually a woman. Uh, her name is Hypatia. Uh, and as you can tell, uh, she's a distinctly different type of Lore Master than, uh, than Soder. Uh, you know, there's not only the runes that are uh, throughout her robe, but uh, tattooed onto her face. Um, so again, she represents a, a, a additional uh, faction. And even though she uh, looks really calm, uh, she's got her own passions and prejudices and factional bias. So she'll be uh, another character you'll be interacting with uh, early on in the game in the Library of Locos. Well, stay tuned for more updates. Uh, one of our resolutions for 2020 is to uh, keep you guys up to date with uh, what we're working on. And we'll be, we've got a, a bunch more concept art that's representing different areas. But since uh, we wanted to kind of have a theme to it, we were kind of concentrating on the, the library uh, in this part. But there are a bunch of different factions. And, uh, you know, I do, do want to get into, we, we've got some awesome concept art uh, representing the Inquisition, who are kind of the, the mortal enemies of the lore masters. Uh, and they're definitely be someone you'll be dealing with in the library as well, because th uh, their their goal is to destroy all of this uh, ancient knowledge and, and uh, you know, legendary creatures and, and whatnot. So uh, that's, uh, you know, they have a very, very different vibe from the lore masters. And uh, I look forward to, to sharing that with you and uh, hope you come on and join our Discord channel. And uh, we're getting to be fairly active on that. So uh, happy to chat with you guys if you have any other questions. Thank you.